They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The nightlight. They're very close. I can feel them. That's all. You've had enough monsters. It's not good to watch these kinds of movies before bed. Mom, Mom, really, I'm not scared. Let me watch the end, would you? I told you, that's all. Well, good night, honey. Close. I feel them. <sighs> Can you believe it? He's sleeping, and he didn't turn the light off. Yeah, and so? And so, if every human went to sleep with a light on, there wouldn't be enough electricity to go around. Hop. Everyone can probably remember walking into an empty room with the lights turned on. Or finding a TV on that nobody's watching. One little light or TV might not seem like much, but just imagine how many people are living on this Earth. Well, if everybody forgot to turn off the lights or TV when they weren't being used, the amount of wasted electricity would equal the amount of energy produced by a hundred power plants. And each of these power plants needs freight cars of coal or rivers of oil to keep running. And all that fuel has to be extracted and burned constantly. Now do you see how expensive burning a light bulb is for the Earth? So don't forget to turn off electrical appliances when you're not using them. It's so easy. Uh, who turned off the light? They're very close. I feel them. I feel them. I feel them. I... Look! What's up with him? I think he's playing sleep hockey. Looks like his position is left out. Ha ha. Anyway, he should get a penalty for wasting electricity. Oh. <gasps> Monsters! <laughs> hey, what do you think we are, hockey pucks? Nolik, Simka, forgive me. Who did you think we were? Mm, monsters. Huh. Well, I see how you could mistake Simka for one, but obviously not me. <laughs> Tom Thomas, what are you doing? Why are you sleeping with the light on? I was so dumb. I watched this monster movie on TV before bed. Now I'm scared to sleep without the light on. And that dumb old monster flick, why were you watching it? I felt like getting scared. Ah! You're great at getting scared. Keep quiet, or we'll wake up your mom and dad. How am I gonna fall asleep now? Here's a good idea. You can use a nightlight. A nightlight is a little light that humans who don't like to sleep in the dark use in their rooms. The nightlight has a dim glow. That's because it works with a special kind of light bulb that uses very little electricity. These kinds of light bulbs are called energy efficient. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> and you can find nightlights that use such low energy bulbs that they can work off of a battery. But you know there isn't a nightlight here. <laughs> How would you get by without us? Tonight, I'm here to help you. I'm gonna be your nightlight. Look, right there. There's our lampshade. Th 
Thanks so much. You really are a friend indeed, Nolik. It was easy. Just go to sleep. Nolik. <sighs> Do you know any good stories? I know one about a big meat grinder. Nah, no way. You'd better tell me a story about a nice kind fixie. Ah, I know a good one. And here's how it goes. Grandpoose was working inside of a very big clock. Actually, the clock wasn't that big. And I'm not sure if it was Grandpoose, but it was a clock, I think. Paper. Hey, Tom Thomas! You're watering plants? Not only. I'm writing an essay for school. I don't get it. I have to write an essay that's called How I Take Care of Nature. Only I have to write what's true, so I'm writing what's true. Watering my plants. <laughs> oh! Chusaka! Chusaka! Come here, girl! Stop! Don't be scared. Why did you pick her up? I want to pet her a little so I can write about how well I take care of animals. Tom Thomas, I want to take care of nature too. That sounds good. And what should we be doing? We could try saving air by not breathing as often. Awesome idea! Way to go! Saving air! Let's go for it. And ready? <gasps> invade nature and destroy more and more of her riches with each passing year. They extract her minerals and oil, cut down her trees, and pollute her air and water. They do all of this to produce food and all sorts of other things. It's a shame that people don't really need all these things that they produce. They often buy something and then just toss it away when it's still almost new. And then there's all the food that humans buy and just throw away. So if you want to help nature, try not to buy anything that you really don't need. And take good care of the things that you do buy. And you can be sure that we Fixies will do everything we can to make your things last as long as possible. That's it. Now we can write it. Uh-huh. Write this. I also do my duty by saving air. A whole 20 seconds worth. You got it? What's that noise? Huh. I must have left it running when I needed some water for my plants. Tom Thomas, I think you should write that you're saving water, too. It really matters, because there's not enough of it. Nolik, that's a good idea. Let's add that. Hi there. What are you guys up to? We're writing about how Tom Thomas protects nature. It's a homework assignment for school. Uh-huh. I've already written how I'm watering the plants, I'm good to living creatures, how I'm saving air and water, and how I'm conserving carrots, too. I never want to eat them, especially in soup. Not eating your vegetables? No way. Doesn't count. You sure of that? Mm-hmm. Why did you rip your paper out? You won't let me say how I'm conserving carrots, right? So I'll have to rewrite it. Ah, uh, you're not taking care of nature. What? Where'd you get that idea from? That's all I'm doing. No. When you keep on throwing your paper out, it means you're not taking care of trees out there. What trees are you talking about? Didn't you know humans make paper out of trees? <laughs> Humans make paper by cutting down trees and shredding the pieces into chips. The chips are then placed in water, chemicals are added to the solution, and then it is all mixed together into a mushy, watery substance called pulp. 
Next, the water is drained from the pulp and with the help of huge rotating drums is flattened into thin sheets of paper. So you see, to make new paper, humans have to keep cutting down trees. And you should know this. If every person on the planet would use one less sheet of paper, you know, they'd save a million trees all together. You sure? I'm sure. And now that you know about trees and paper, what are you gonna do next? Hey, you know, I've decided not to write any essay for school. You, you what? I want to help save more trees by using less paper. That's all. Oh, Tom Thomas, you're my hero. Ah. The television. Now watch carefully. First I put some of the yellow. Then I add some of the blue. Mix them together. And now we've got the color green. Isn't that great? Class! And it's not just paint either. Your television works by mixing colors too. Really? No way! That's embarrassing. No, like you should know that by now. We live inside of that television, together with Papas and Masia. Come on! The picture on a TV screen is made up of tiny glowing dots that are either red, green, or blue. When blue and green dots are glowing together, we see the color light blue, like in a clear blue sky. When green and red mix, we see a yellow sun. And when all three colors shine brightly together, then we see white on the screen. It may be hard to believe, but it's true. All of the colors on the screen are made up of only three colors. Red, green, and blue. So everything that's on the TV screen all comes from three colors. Red, green, and blue. Isn't that great? Where do you learn all this stuff, huh? Actually, don't you think it's about time we got you a new TV? What do you say? Sure! <sighs> Great. And then I'll take this one with me to work. We just started shooting a new show about old things. Hooray! I'm gonna get an awesome new TV! Simka Nolik! Did you hear that? Are you here? They must have gone home for something. <gasps> Wait a sec! Their home is... Their, their home is in the television! This was such a nice home for us. It's okay. We'll move into one of the other TVs here. The one in the living room? Why not? It's a nice new one with a huge flat screen. We're gonna have to leave the sofa behind. What? There's just not enough room in that TV. Then I'm not going to move there. Then where? Into the fridge? No, thank you. My nose is running. How about the stove? And what about us? You're the one that says that a stove is off limits for kids. Maybe the microwave will do. No, it's dangerous there. Then, in the piano. What piano? There's no piano in Tom Thomas's apartment. What a shame. A piano is the best place of all to call home. Huh. It looks like he already put us into a box. We're trapped. Good. Dad! Hey, Dad! I changed my mind. I really don't want to get a new TV. Hmm. Why don't you want a new one? I'm just used to this one. You're a junk collector. <laughs> uh-huh. Just like you, Dad. People have always dreamt of seeing things that are far, far away. All of us have heard fairy tales about crystal balls and magic mirrors. But the magic of television began only a hundred years ago. The screens on the first TVs were so small that people had to attach magnifying glasses to them to make the picture big enough for watching. Ever since those first TVs, both the outside and the inside of this amazing device continue to change. Bulky picture tubes have been replaced by electronic chips. Screens have grown wider and wider as TV sets have changed from big heavy boxes to flat light screens that can hang on the wall like a picture. And someday, real soon, it's quite possible that TVs will be made to roll up like a rug and people will be able to carry them anywhere. All right, I'll put it back, but under one condition. If it breaks, we'll buy you a new one right away. Yeah, sure. 
We'll never let it break, right? Never, never ever! Well, that's that. The color is completely wrong, see? I guess we're going to have to throw it out after all. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to make it work perfectly. Watch this. One. Two. How did you do it? I just mixed the three colors together, like I told you, red with green and blue. 